Hello and welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to create a flower crown for your head, for either your bride or your flower girl. It's a pretty easy way. Um, you will need some ruscus, Israeli ruscus. It does not dehydrate. It is very strong. It lasts for a while without water, so it will be perfect for your flower crown. You'll need some hyacinth of any color that you'd like, whatever theme your wedding has. You'll need some roses as well, preferably the smallest heads that you can find. If not sweetheart roses, you'll need the smallest heads. You'll need any greenery. I'm going to use baby's breath in this case. And some wire, 24 gauge wire. You'll also need to measure the head of whoever the flower crown is going to be sitting on. Usually it is between 18 to 20 inches. The method I will be using is a simple braiding method, kind of like when you're braiding your hair. You will see in this next clip how I do it. You will need eight to nine small roses. The smallest ones you can find in the bunch. You're also going to need to put it on a wire like this. So poke it through the head and then once again poke it through the other side on the beginning of the stem. So very close. This way it will keep the head very steady. Then you'll take tape and just simply secure the wire so that it doesn't fall out or move anywhere. Now I'm going to show you how to do that same thing but with the hyacinth. So basically the same idea through the head of the flower, the bulb, once, and then you're going to take tape and just wrap it and secure it. Very simple, very quick and easy. You're also gonna need to cut your greenery, so your ruscus and your baby's breath into small pieces. And now I'm just going to show you how to do it. So pay attention to the process, pay attention to my technique, and you'll be able to do something like this yourself. 